Could you give us some background on why this had to to come the right to repair stuff that's been going on i mean this is this has been a long-standing journey maybe i'll put put you guys on the spot when do you think we first started offering uh technical manuals to customers through through john deere dealers and when you say technical like things like that the it, actual repair yeah not just like the parts uh, not the operator diagram not the or, one you put yeah, behind your seat change oil like 250 yeah. hours or whatever yeah the full diagnostic repair. Oh, God. i'm just gonna throw uh i don't know 2010 yeah i didn't even think that far back, 2018. Oh man, I I've seen them because I auction. I see tech. I'm thinking like 1989. 1982. Okay. All the way back to 1982, we've we've offered tech manual. So I mean, <clears throat> this has been a long journey. Obviously, when you talk in terms of right to repair, that that makes the news more now. But we've we've been delivering these types of capabilities since 1982. But the big transition was when we jumped to customer service advisor and offering that around 2006. It started with construction and forestry equipment, and then we transitioned and offering it uh, through ag and turf equipment, then offering it online versus going to your John Deere dealer, and then bringing things like uh, operator's manuals and getting parts and th those types of things through equipment mobile. So this has been an evolution.